Do you feel like that uh, ultimately good progress is being made on these talks, regardless of the daily or weekly ups and downs? Progress is clearly being made. Um, the fact that there is a cabinet level delegation in Beijing as we speak is a sign that we are making progress in the negotiations. I think the uncertainty revolves around what the U.S. needs to get a final deal and whether China will be able to give that deal, whether in the short term, i.e. before March 1st, when you have tariff taxes kick up, or if China is willing to do those things in the long term. But I'm encouraged by the fact that cabinet level officials are meeting. That's a precondition for any subsequent meeting by the leaders to try to resolve these issues. When you watch how the Trump administration has sort of played this whole trade war with China, brought them to the table, brought them to their knees in many respects when it comes to the economic weakness, do you wish that during your administration, your time, you had done it differently? Because a lot of the issues were the same, the intellectual property theft and the, and the joint ventures and opening up China's markets. And, and the fact that those are on the table right now in these negotiations, does it make you question how, how we've been dealing with the Chinese? Well, I think for many years we've been trying to figure out how to deal with an emerging Chinese economy. We were negotiating a bilateral investment treaty with China to try to open up some of the same markets. I think the, the difference is clearly the Trump administration was willing to embrace massive increases on the American population through tariff taxes. That's something that we were not willing to do. Um, clearly, while it may be having some impact on China, it's also having a negative impact on the U.S. economy. Uh, we wanted to avoid that by using other tools that were available. But the fact is, there are many long-term systemic problems in China in terms of how closed their market is. Now that the U.S. has engaged in this effort through tariff taxes, it's incumbent that we get the very best deal possible. Otherwise, the price that the American consumers and businesses would have been paid would have been all for naught. So I, I wish the negotiators well. They have a tough road ahead of them, but this is really essential, not just for immediate. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not essential for just the short-term issue of reducing the U.S. trade deficit with China, but it's essential for the long term of the U.S. economy. Uh, Ambassador, uh, you, you mentioned uh, you're encouraged by the fact that various administration officials are meeting and have been meeting quite regularly. There's also a lot of focus uh, as to the date of a possible upcoming meeting between the two presidents. Do you fear that that hasn't happened since Buenos Aires and that that could then undo some of the progress or is that something you expect to cement the good work? I think that would be useful and necessary to cement the good work at the right time. So earlier it was floated that President Trump would go to China, that President Xi would come to the U.S. Uh, certainly President Trump will need to be part of signaling and signing the final deal, but it would also be quite premature at this point for the U.S. or any country, quite frankly, to to put a date out by which their leader is going to meet with another leader. You don't want and will not have those things happen if that meeting will yield a failure. And so we are still, even with several weeks ahead, we are still a long way from getting the kind of deal that the U.S. would think is necessary before they would commit the President of the United States to meeting with President Xi Jinping. So the dynamics of this are playing out as I would expect they would, and you'd keep some of that kind of close to your vest about a possible meeting until you knew you were in a zone where you could actually reach a deal.